What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back to y'all again with another art tutorial. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit post notifications so you will be notified every time your boy drops some heat. In today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to turn yourself into a Naruto character. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okay. First thing you want to do, if you're using a, a digital art tablet, you want to come set your pressure sensitivity. All you got to do is come down here to pressure. Put three right there. Put three on this side. And it should give you the brush. The pressure brush that I'll be using for all my artwork. And that's it, man. That's the only brush you, you ever see me using when it comes to Adobe Illustrator. Now, I'm going to pick a bright, bright color. And then we're going to draw the opacity. Because the first thing we want to do, we want to start out with our sketch. You know what I'm saying? So, let's see. What I notice about these... These, this style of art when you're doing the Naruto it don't have too much too much detail going on it's like very it's like a very plain style but it's super dope at the same time so we're gonna go ahead and start with our, our head shape okay and they had a Everything is simple. Okay. And they got these big old eyes. Make sure I put that band on my head.
Okay, now that we got our sketch, what you want to do? We want to create you another layer right above it. Get out the color black. Now we're going to go in with the detail. Okay, now that we now that we finish with the line work, what we finna do? We finna combine all our lines and make them one. So what you wanna do? You wanna highlight everything. Go to object, expand appearance, and then you wanna go to your pathfinder and click merge. After you do that, you wanna drag your line work layer to this blank sheet of paper to make a copy of it lock the top copy then you want to pick a color to start out with for the skin tone let me see and i just go with i just go with the flow you know what i'm saying let's see i think that'll look nice select your rectangle tool 
then you want to drag the color over your artwork now after you do this step you right click the color go to arrange send to back you'll know if you did this step right if you look over here at your layers tool and you see a line work sitting on top of the color now after you do that you want to highlight everything and click merge so we can make our color one with the line work now after you do that you want to right click onto it and click isolate select selected group now we can click things individually and switch up colors so get, grab his teeth hold shift to select more than one change this eye color hair color switch out the colors a little bit so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select everything come up here edit color let's see I'm gonna switch these colors up a little bit
we got we got our basic colors down now it's time to come in and do the shading so first thing we're gonna start with we're gonna start with the eyes so I'm gonna get a darker color so we can add details inside the eyes To select the color inside the eyes, and then we're gonna find a brighter color. see how the color is falling behind the line work that's why we always make a copy of our line work and we lock it and stick it at the top so anytime we're doing our shading the colors will fall right behind your line work so that's why we always make a copy of our line work so let's go ahead let's get this do the same thing we did on that side to this side layer above the line work and we're gonna get our color white so we can do the glares inside the eyes so that's all you want to do okay there we go for the eyes finish with the eyes okay now we're gonna go back to our layer in between what we're doing our shades not sh different shadows okay we're gonna come up here you're gonna get your dropper tool select this shadow right here and we're gonna make the little reflection on the metal part Feel this in. Okay. Feel that in. Probably gonna add one more. Just so to have that effect like it's, it's metal, you know what I'm saying? And we're gonna give it a nice little, nice little shiny glare. glare going, you know what I'm saying, you dig me, now we finna add the shadow behind my dread, 
So we're gonna get this dropper tool, select that. Then we're gonna find a darker, a darker tone. Come up and add a little shadow. Now we're gonna do the shadows on the face. So we're gonna get our dropper tools, select the skin tone, and find a good. Okay, that'll be a good balance. We're gonna add some shadows. Since we already decided to go this way with the shadows, we're gonna keep it going that way. So, come up here. Another shadow under this dread. Now that we did that, let's put one. Let's put one under this. This eyebrow. See how it look.
and there you have it you guys how to turn yourself into a naruto character go ahead and hit that like button comment subscribe more heat coming soon and i'm out this thing